So we are doing GBP AUD because we say GBP AUD is one of the pairs that we are about to trade in the month of November. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to give you my theory on GBP AUD, and then we can see what are we expecting to happen, and then what are the patterns involved. And then when we get all that, we sit, we sit back, relax, and wait for an opportunity to happen. You know, better be prepared and lack an opportunity rather than you have the opportunity and you are never prepared. That's my mantra. That's what I keep saying every single time. So GBP Audi, uh, for me, I told you even before, I said this one has a very good setup because it uh, has a double bottom on the monthly. So GBP Audi is shouting buy, buy, buy because the neckline, the market has never reached the, ne the neckline. And then the other thing, the other reason why GBP AUD might be a buy, it's because you have a resistance break. You can see the market broke that resistance. So once the resistance was broken, the market has stayed for two months going down. And that is something normal for market to do. It does retracement. So from where the market is, if it buys to the neckline, that's 1,925 pips. We are speaking of almost 2,000 people. So it's worth it's worth everything. GBP Audi is worth everything. Uh, it's worth us to check it. It's worth us to get an opportunity. If at all, you can get a buy opportunity. You are not looking for sell opportunity because, I've, like I've said, this market has been an uptrend. So GBP Audi, we are not looking for sell. The market is an uptrend, has a double bottom. It has broken resistance. It is screaming buy, buy, buy. So let's go to the weekly, uh, the weekly time frame. So when we go to the weekly time frame, this is your weekly time frame. When you go to the weekly time frame, we want to see uh, what is happening here. Um, GBP Audi had a double top that is not on there, that is not on the monthly. So I don't know if you guys you had noticed there is this double top that is not on there, that is not on the monthly. And what we know from the double top, the market can give us a cap and handle. So never see a double top and you're like, oh, the market will sell. The same double top that can make the market sell is the same double top that it can make the market buy because of a cap and handle. So if we check the half of that, the market is at the half, meaning there's so much potential for this market to go up and break that area and the market can buy crazy. So if this market can give us a cap and handle, it means that the market can go that direction. And I want to show you the area where the market should be going. So we have, a, the market should be going to that area if that happens. So before, before it happens, on the weekly time frame, we can see we have a very, very major support area like this support area the market is not able to break can you see there's a support area and we have an another pattern and i'll show you how do we trade this pattern guys people have kept tell asking me how do we trade a head and shoulder you have an opportunity to know how head and shoulder are traded so here we have our left shoulder here we have our head and then now we have our left right shoulder so what happens when you have a head and shoulder the market either breaks the 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 neckline of the of the head and shoulder and go to this distance that is one possibility the market can do that or it can go back the market mostly can go back to the head so there is so much possibility of this market to go back up because for us, for the market to go down, there are so many obstacles. We have a sell here, we have a sell here, we have a sell here. So from the weekly, uh, from the weekly point, we have a head and shoulder, and it is still visible on the daily. You can see it very clear. Can you see that pattern? So we have a very clear pattern. So for me, what I'm thinking is that because the market can either go up or down. For me to be comfortable with this market to go up, I want this um, double bottom of one candle to be activated. Imagine if this market just drop, tap this area, that is 200 pips, activate this double bottom. Do you know what will happen? This double bottom now will not be trading 
uh, head and shoulder will be trading uh, double bottom. You can see that double bottom, the market has RBS, meaning it is it, it will buy. So what I, what I say, or my theory is, uh, the market can activate this double bottom because this double bottom is the only chance to be have an accurate trade. You know, for me, I don't want to trade a trade that I don't have accuracy. That double top, that, that double bottom, it is not on the weekly. So for instance, if they break on the weekly and they activate, let me tell you, uh, it will be a very good theory, by the way. Why? Because on the weekly time frame, it will look like it has broke, but the market will eventually go up. Because this breaking, it will be a fake break, break because on the daily, it will have activated this zone. So if you're watching, if you're watching uh, GBP Audi, the only thing we can do is to wait for the market to do what? To break this area, activate a new double bottom so that we don't trade the double bottom. If we attempt to trade uh, the market as it is, it is very, very hard by the way, because we don't know how the buyers will take will take control. The only way we can trade, you can see from the weekly, we have that double bottom. From the monthly, let me remove everything. You can see from the monthly, we still have the, that double bottom. It will not be easy to trade uh, head and shoulder. Trust me, head and shoulder, that's why I don't trade head and shoulder. Entry on head and shoulder, they are not they are not tradable more. So if a, if a head and shoulder is getting rejected, if the head and shoulder breaks here, if this head and shoulder breaks here, our, our, our goal is this market to activate this new. Or if they don't activate here, they will activate a new double bottom on the month, on the weekly. And once the, this weekly is activated, we have to check, is it on the monthly? So we don't want to be, to be on the monthly. You see, it will be, you see, the, the monthly has a very long week. So on the monthly, we don't want anything, uh, anything above this week because it will be also on the monthly. So if weekly we want to be safe, they have to activate now the, the lower bottom. And you see, so the only place we are sure that we'll get this trade for ourselves on one time frame, it's either they activate, they activate here, on the weekly and to do that the market will have dropped broken that double uh that head and shoulder and continue to go down and that's what i'm saying going down i don't have an i don't have a strategy of head and shoulder guys i cannot tell you what to do if you want to keep on selling i don't have it the only thing i have is if it activates this double bottom so this is what i want you to do guys i want you to open gbp audi and I want to mark this area and then we wait. I want us to wait. So the only way we can buy, if we want to buy, if it's this market break out of this channel, because we have a channel, a ranging channel here. If we want to buy, if they break out of that channel now, of course you can look for buys. That's the only time we can buy. If the market now breaks out of that channel, you see? So if it breaks out of that channel, we can buy. But if we want to buy and that buy is the accurate, you see the way you say this is this this one is a deal. Like this trade, it's either I make it or make it. Let me show you. This is our this is our deal here. This one candle support is our deal. If this market comes down to that, breaks this um uh neckline or support, breaks that area. Let me tell you that is our overall goal. So I want you to open GBP Audi, go and mark, put an alarm. I want to put an alarm here so that it can notify me. 87, let me put 87.80. So you'll come and click alert, and then we put 87.80, 87.80. So we want the market to cross down, crossing down, then every time, then we have created an alert, meaning I don't need to keep checking the market. Remember, the market can fail to come to this zone and come above. So I'll still create another, another alert, 93.44. So when the market is at that zone, I'll just get a notification, 93.44. 93.44 is our zone. This time we want the market to 
to close up, closing up every time, then create. So if if in case it goes up, it will give me a notification. In case it goes down, it will still give me a notification. That's exactly what I am praying and hoping the market will do. And that's what I was saying. Your work as a trader is to analyze the market and then you wait. You react if it has done what it has said. So we are waiting to see GBP. But for me, I think my strength is more buying than selling. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Love you so much. Bye-bye.